Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel. Remember, like, subscribe, and tell your friends. And today, guys, I want to talk about, I want to talk about releasing your own channel's luxury wristwatch. And I got to tell you something. There's been a lot of hoo-ha out there. One of my competitors has released their own personalized shitter. Their own personalized shitter. And it's an interesting thing. It's a very, very interesting thing there. If I had a dollar for every time I've been offered to produce an Archie Luxury version of a wristwatch, I'd be a very, very rich man there. I can afford links for my breguet. And i got to tell you, it's one of these things there. I, uh, I, I came close a, uh, a while ago, about a year or a year and a half ago, and I actually received a prototype, an Archie Luxury prototype. And it was it was going to be, I, I, I kind of, I, I chose the dial color, I chose the the case, whether it was polished or a, um, a, a brushed finish. I, I chose a few of the um, uh, different options on the watch. And I, I got to tell you, I got to tell you, I... Um, I put it out there, and I came this close, and a little voice inside my head said, Archie, you're selling your soul for a shitter. And, I mean, this is the thing there. Do you really want to put your name on a product that is crap, that is garbage, that is really not a good watch? And this is the problem. This is the problem indeed, is that I came this close to actually selling my soul for a bit of bit of YouTube fame. And I kinda I had to step back and say, hey, that's not really what I want to do. And I mean the the thing is this, I mean I mean let let's be completely honest there. I've got a lot of following because I speak the truth. I call a shitter a shitter. I call a, you know, I, 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 uh, I, I like to be pretty honest as far as my description of my reviews. And I'm not, I'm not under the corporate beck and call like some people are. I just say what I think. Nobody gives me a dime if I recommend an Amiga or a, an Amiga or a Rolex, or anything. I don't get a dollar. I don't get nothing. I get nothing. I just say how I see it. And when you start promoting crap, the big problem is, is that it comes and bites you. So, you know, i got to tell you, I, I did in fact have a very, very good lucrative offer to sign up with a, uh, a wristwatch with my my name on it and uh, I mean it makes me laugh I mean some of these these baboons out there that they they uh, they say oh I've spent 12 months designing it look you tick a box okay okay you tick a box brushed or polished what color bezel and and, and if you have a look at one of my competitors he's got such a a mix match of a blue and a burgundy oh it doesn't really it was done for price i mean i mean you, you can't you, there's absolutely no fashion sense in that color combo at all and i gotta tell you this is the whole thing i've uh i decided i i pulled out of the deal i said hey i'm not happy to promote this sort of watch i don't want to promote it I don't want to plug it. It's not a road I want to go there because I don't want to. I mean, you got an ETA, a you know, a Salita movement or a um, those horrid Japanese movements, you know, Miata movement. Oh, they're all garbage. I mean, come on, guys. You if you want to, you want to really, you know, I I don't want to put my name on something that I if it didn't have my name on, I'd just say it was garbage. And that's the whole thing. You've got to 
sometimes at the end of the day, you've got to do what you feel is comfortable. And sometimes there's suit, there's glory, and then uh, your ego gets in the way, your ego gets in the way. But um, i got to tell you, in my case, I'm really pleased I backed out of the deal. I backed out. I said, hey, guys, I just don't feel comfortable representing this crap, trying to flog it, shilling garbage. I don't want to shill garbage. And um, it's a decision you've got to make yourself. It's a decision you've got to make yourself. Do you want to be known for shilling crap? Or do you want to be known for your honest, truthful opinions? And um, yeah, in my case there, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy I did it. I mean, I'm, I, I, can, I can sleep at night. I've got my own conscience. It's, it's no problem. But it's a big ego trip for a lot of... Uh, people out there their ego gets out of control and um, that's how it goes but in my case I'm very happy I backed out of the deal backed out of the deal I mean I think I think I think the straw that broke the camel's back they had a, a clasp on the, the the strap there and it it even had Archie luxury and I looked at it and thought oh this is garbage this is really cheap garbage and that was kind of the um, the deciding moment for me as to why I didn't put my name on that watch. Only one of these watches was made and um, a very good fan of mine bought it from me and I, I was going to destroy it, but he said, I don't know, I want to buy it, I want to buy it. So I, I sold it to a really good fan, Stephen Brooks, really great guy. So... Um, yeah, that's the story of the, the Archie Luxury wristwatch. Tell me what you guys think of that.